Problem C is 43 times 16. I'm going to draw my rectangle so I can get my problem started. And I need to split up my numbers. So the number 43. If I break up the number 43 into expanded form, what are the two parts that I would end up with? What two parts would I get if I broke up the number 43? Jaylene, what two parts would I get? What was the question again? If I break up the number 43 into expanded form, what two parts would I get? Because I can't just write 43 on the top of my rectangle here. I got to break it up. So what would I write, Jaylene? Forty. Okay. And what else? Plus. Plus. What was the number? Right here. Oh, and then 30? Do I put 30? No. Three. Three. 40 plus three. Very good, Jaylene. What about my other number? 16. If I was going to split 16 up into expanded form, what two parts would I have? Ezekiel, what two parts would I have if I split up the number 16? 10 plus 6. 10 plus 6. I'm going to draw my lines. Now we can do our multiplication. I always start with the biggest box. Got a 40 on the top and a 10 on the side. What is 40 times 10? How would I do that? Because with those numbers, it might be a little bit difficult, but I could make it easier for myself. Kylie? You take away the zeros and then you times four times one. Okay. And I equal four and then you add, you put the zeros back. Okay, and how many zeros would I put back? Two. Two. One, two. Okay. The next box, I would have a three on the top and a ten on the side. So I need to do three times ten. If I did 3 times 10, what would I get? How could I make 3 times 10 easier for me to do? Make it so it's not quite so complicated. Haley? Um. Uh. Take away the zero and six times one equals six. Well, hold on, because we're going to a different square. We're working on this one right now. Got a three on uh, the top and a ten on the side. Um. Um. Take so we could take away, away a zero from the ten. That leaves me one the, times three. 
Um, A equals three, and um, put, put place the zero. Okay. So now I got thirty. Now we come down to this box here. This box has a forty on the top and a six on the side. How would I do forty times six? How could I make that simpler for me to to do? What could I do to that? Forty times six. Bella? Remove the zero. Okay. And if I remove a zero from forty, that leaves me with just four. So I have four times six. So I could either use the four song or the six song. Mm. Four song? Okay, so let's try the four song. <clears throat> four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four. There's my six. So four times six is what? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Then we put the zero back. We put the zero back. Okay. And I have one last box here. It has a three on the top and a six on the side. I need three times six. What is three times six? Christopher? The chat's not working, but 18. 18. All right. Now I've got to add all my numbers together to figure out what my final answer should be. We have 400. Plus 240. Zero plus zero is zero. But what's zero plus four? Bella, zero plus four. Four. And Bella, what's four plus two? <clears throat> Six hundred forty. But that's only two of the parts. I still need the other one. So let's add again. Thirty. Zero plus zero is zero. Four plus three. What is four plus three? Jada? Seven. And then six plus nothing is. I've got one last piece to add. Zero plus eight. What is zero plus eight? Bailey? Eight. And Bailey, what's seven plus one? Also eight, and six plus nothing is six. So my answer is 688. So for problem D, we've got two numbers, 45 and 40. I'm gonna draw my rectangle. And while I'm doing the problem, 
I want you to keep an eye on your paper. If you see something I did that you didn't do or you wrote down the wrong number or anything like that, make sure that you're fixing it. We have 45, which should break up into 40 plus 5. And we have 40. It would be 40 plus 0. I'm going to draw my lines. And I'm going to do 40 times 40. 40 times 40 would give me 1,600. Forty times five would give me two hundred. Zero times forty would be zero, and zero times five would be zero, because anything times zero is always zero. Then if I add up my numbers, I have one thousand six hundred plus 200. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 2 is 8. 1 plus nothing is 1. So my answer is 1,800. I'm going to draw my rectangle. We have 60 plus 2 for 62, 40 plus 6 for 46. I'm going to draw my lines and do my multiplication. I've got 60 times 40. My answer here. 2,400. Then I have 2 times 40. The answer there would be 80. Then I've got 6 times 60. My answer would be 360. And I have 2 times 6. My answer would be 12. So let's start adding all these up, and let's see what we get. 2,400 plus 360. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 6 is 6. 4 plus 3, 7. 2 plus nothing is 2. Then we add the next part, plus 80. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 8 <clears throat> gives me 14. 7 plus 1 gives me 8. And 2 plus nothing. Two. Now one last thing to add, 12. 0 plus 2 is 2. 4 plus 1 is 5. 8 plus nothing is 8. And 2 plus nothing is 2. So my final answer should be 2,000. 852. 64 times 57. <clears throat> when I split the number 64, get 60 plus 4. When I split the number 57, it get 50 plus 7.
50 times 60. Oh, sure. Before we, before we do this, what'd you get, Sebastian? Okay. Did anyone get a different answer or did ever, or did we end up with the same one? Kylie, did you get something different or the same? Got the same. Christopher, did you get the same or did you get different? Same. Kaylee, different or the same? 3,041. Okay. So close, but not exactly the same. What about you, Bailey? What did you get? Same? Okay. Let's see. So 50 times 60. 50 times 60 gives me 3,000. Four times 50 gives me 200. Seven times 60 gives me 420 and 7 times 4 gives me 28. Now we're going to see when we add all of our numbers up what we end up with. 3000 plus 200. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, 3 plus nothing is 3, plus 420, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 4 is 6, 3 plus nothing is 3. Last, 28, 0 plus 8, 8. 2 plus 2 is 4, 6 plus nothing is 6, and 3 plus nothing is 3. So my answer was 3,648, which is good. Sounds like a lot of us got the right answer on this one. Great job, guys.